RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Gly, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Bernard Tobin here at Agritechnica. We're reporting for Optimum Gly, brought to you by Corteva AgriScience. I am here with Heike Hainala uh, from Agco Power, and we're going to talk about the new Core 50 engine that farmers are going to see in a lot of Agco products. Heike, how's it going? Fine, and it has been an amazing show for us, and feedback for new engine has been amazing. I have been really happy about having old people and old priests, and also you in the box behind oh. the screens. Awesome. Hey, listen, there's lots to talk about with this engine. I guess one of the big, the starting point might be fuel, fuel efficiency. Yeah, that's the most important thing nowadays for the farmers because it's uh, also about saving the nature. When we have good fuel economy, we can cut CO2 emissions, mm -hmm. but you can do also savings in your wallet yeah. because the fuel is the most important or biggest cost for the farmers around the world. Yeah. So what about fuel efficiency? How uh, Are we going to be able to squeeze it down a little bit? What, what's this engine going to do for us? Uh, it will do a lot. We have come that it's about 5 to 7% better than most of the engine in the market. Of course, it depends about the application. Yeah, yeah. But and we have done a lot of new technology that, a lot of new things, a lot of simulation work to have the best fuel economy in the market, what you can reach with uh, diesel engines. Yeah. Hey, let's talk power, the big word. Um, yeah. What about power output and what are we going to be able to get out of this? Yeah, this is four cylinder engine with five liters um, size, and we can do 165 kilowatts or 950 newton meters of torque. And that is amazing amount of power and torque for the four-cylinder engines. Yeah, yeah. All days it has been about that level with the six-cylinder engines, but we can do that same thing with the four-cylinder and save some fuel cost and save some space for your tractors. Yeah. Now tractor-specific, right? And yeah, that is specially designed for the farmers. It has a couple of points which are really nice. It is really narrow here in the town part yeah. to have good turning radius for your tractor right. because you don't want to make any distance by turning your tractor. You want to do as, as fast as you can in the right. end of the fields. And there are a couple of things. It's really easy to do service. Yep. All the filters are in one location and it has single turbo. We think that in the turbo side you need to have like standard single turbo because it's easy to do service and you don't have any parts which can go broken with that. Because you always get some dust inside of the turbo which can be problematic with the double turbo so variable get geometry turbos. What about uh, when I'm driving this engine? Uh, yeah. I'm sitting in the cab. What's the feel? What am I, what am I going to experience? It has absolutely <clears throat> amazing dynamics for driving. Okay. All days, people are thinking that they really need to have six-cylinder engine in the tractors, but when you test drive this with the new Fent 600, you can get that kind of feeling that you had never experienced earlier with the four-cylinder engines. Right. Hey, final question. You mentioned the Fent 600, the first engine to have the Core 50. Yeah. Where, where will we see this engine down the road? Uh, probably quite soon with the, all our corporation brands like Valdra, Massa Ferguson, yeah. and some others. Awesome. Well, Heike, hey, thank you for taking some time talking about a new engine here at Agritechnica. We appreciate you making time for real agriculture.